we can go out and just get a solid bag today, I think we'll be okay for the Classic. There's, there's big fish here and lots of fish to be had here. I think the weights are going to be really big today. What's going to take the win? It's hard to judge. These guys are so good. Anybody can come in with a monster bag and just change everything. It's the fourth and final qualifier for the Renegade Bass Tour. At the end of today, three things will be determined. Who will win today's tournament, who gets to move on to the Classic, and whether or not Lenny and Jeff will maintain their lead in the Team of the Year race. Lenny and Jeff have had an exceptionally good year coming in first, second, and fourth. They have a 2.79 pound lead over Matt Tooley and Blake Orr. 26th place at Q1 was not the start they wanted. They would dominate Q2 and Q3 coming in first at both events. While other teams could challenge these two for the Team of the Year title, they would be much better served to concentrate on trying to win this event. Making it into the Classic is the end goal of all of these teams, and for the teams that struggled through the first three events, they were now in a precarious position of ending their season early. Today, for the teams heading out on the St. Lawrence River, they'll have to do everything they can to make it into the top 40 standings in order to secure a place into the Classic. So this week we're out of Morrisburg on the St. Lawrence River. Traditionally, when we're at Morrisburg, guys can have the option to run all the way to the lake. Not this year. With the high water situation we've had on the St. Lawrence this year, they've closed the spillway at Iroquois. So our guys are limited to only fish up to the Iroquois Dam. Good thing about this body of water is that even though they're restricted, there's still tons of water. They've got a 30 mile stretch they can bomb around on. They're still gonna catch some monster bags down here. We had a pretty good pre-fish. I'd like to see a little more sun for the style of fishing we're doing, but this looks like it's not gonna to be too bad a day as long as we don't get rained on and uh, we're gonna go and have some fun. Lots of fish this week, it looks like. Everybody's saying the same thing. You know, it looks like it could be good if the wind lays down a little bit. Everything should be good today. Pre-fish, you only get it one day last Sunday, but it was it was fantastic. It was probably the best pre-fish we've had all year. We've seen lots of fish around. Hopefully they're still where, they, where we found them, and uh, hopefully we can back with a decent bag. They didn't open the dam for us to go through today, so we're gonna be uh, stuck at this section. So it'll be a learning experience for us. We don't uh, get to fish this section very often. We usually head the other direction, so I guess we'll see what happens. We're usually fishing this side anyway, so it doesn't really affect us that much, but. It may affect us now that due to all the numbers on our side. Tend to like to go to the shallower spot, so it makes it a little bit uh, tighter for us. We did put some deep water fishing in as well. It's kind of a backup, but uh, I'm hoping uh, our shallower stuff will uh, it'll come through for us. All right, folks, if I can get all teams to start moving over, and we'll get this day started. Right now we're sitting in 40th, so we're on the bubble. We figure we need probably 15 pounds today to get into the classic, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a grind. The water being exceptionally low here it has hurt us a little bit, and the, the current flow is a little bit different than it normally is. But I, I think we'll, we're all right. We uh, had a really good practice yesterday, and we're just hoping we can put everything together today. After three events, the Team of the Year race is led by Lenny DeVos and Jeff Delage, followed closely by Matt Tooley and Blake Orr, who are less than three pounds back. It's a tight race all the way through, and typical of the competition at Renegade Bass Tour, 10 through 20th is separated by less than four pounds.
We start the morning with Team 23, who's chosen to target smallies on a deep drift. The fishery in Marsburg as a whole, it's pretty incredible. It's part of the St. Lawrence River, so there's big fish here and lots of fish to be had here. We don't have as much experience in this body of water as we do on the other side of the dam, but we're using our same techniques and uh, plots and ploys uh, in this body of water like we would normally. Lenny and Jeff will move often. Each drift by Team 10 could deliver a big fish. We're, we feel uh, pretty confident going into the, with the lead for team of the year right now. Our strategy today is, is fish like we always fish. We're not going to worry about anybody else. We're going to worry about what we're doing. You start worrying about other, other people, you start making bad decisions and stuff like that. We're just going to treat this as if it was any other tournament. And uh, if we're shooting for the win for this tournament, and if we happen to uh, win team of the year, well then, you know, we're, we'll be really happy. With only a 2.79 pound difference from first place, the pressure to get on fish is pretty strong for Team 10, Matt Tooley and Blake Orr. They begin their day fishing some mid-depth flats, and when Team 11 gets a bit too close for comfort, Matt asks them to give them some room. Getting on a prime fishing spot is tough enough, but with the dam closed, there's bound to be more teams bunching up on each other. We're on a lot of fish. If they're going to be there or not, that's the whole question, right, the smallmouth. You never know what someone, someone is easily going to pull a 25 pound bag out of here. Lenny's in first, you know, and he's an excellent fisherman out here, so, you know, if he falters a bit and we do well, you know, we're going to need 24, 25 pounds to, to, you know, to make team of the year, but you never know that smallmouth fishing, so we'll see how it goes. With today being our last qualifier here on the St. Lawrence, pretty tight race for the team of the year. Lenny DeVos and Jeff Delage have just under a three pound lead over Matt Tooley and Blake Orr. Third place, we've got Dwayne Clifton and Dave Western. They're just around five pounds back. And in fourth place, our last year's team of the year, Dave Chong and Doug Brownridge, just a hair over seven pounds back of our leader, Lenny and Jeff. If anybody can make up that seven pound difference, Dave Chong and Doug Brownridge are the guys who do it. Classic champs here, multiple winners on this body of water. You never know how the day will play out. My first fish of the morning broke my spinning rod. I mean, I, I'm sure it was an older rod, so I must have bruised on something. Our math said that we needed to weigh five pounds to make the classic. So then our first fish was a five, so we were pretty much happy at that point. It was pretty exciting landing a five pounder with half a fishing rod. The fact that the Iroquois Dam is closed today does change things up a bit, but uh, ultimately, as with all tournament rules, it's the same for everybody. I'm, we're fine with it. We have no problems. It makes some decisions easier for us. Otherwise, we would have been, you know, thinking about uh, stuff on the other side of the dam. Not where we hoped we'd be going into the last event. Uh, we had uh, we had a few lost fish issues over the year, and uh, we feel we could have been a lot closer than we were, and we would have been happier. But you know what is what it is, and uh, you know we're in contention. We need some people to stumble, but uh, all we can do is go out and weigh our best, and hopefully we can get. Like I said, I think we'll hopefully we can get 26 and change, and make everybody uh, come chase us then. There's a different pressure for those out of the team of the year race. For them, a good day of fishing keeps them in the running for the final event. So how is the morning going for some of these teams?
think we're sitting in 17th. We had a pretty good pre-fish. I've never seen so many five pound plus bass in the St. Lawrence River. Ideally, we would have liked to have run west of the, the Iroquois Dam just because of our knowledge of the water up there. We found enough down here and we're gonna fish enough memories to, that we can do okay today. First, we're out of the bubble a little bit where we're still close to that cut. So I figure if we did, I don't know, 14, 15 pounds at least, we should be okay to make it to the class. But that also depends on how good or tough it's fishing is, right? One in the box. The morning started off super slow though, and it just picked up in the last half hour. The sun popped there, the top three, over four right away. I believe we're sitting 19th overall. I think we're 12 pounds up on the cut for the Classic, so we can go out and just get a solid bag today. I think we'll be okay for the Classic. We spent a little bit of time out here this week. I uh, got out a couple evenings and one day last weekend. The day I did get out here during the week, it was three foot, four foot waves, so it was pretty tough to find the shallow fish, but the deep fish were definitely on. Over the years, you always seem to catch a big fish here and there, so you seem to tendency to run those spots all the time. But out here, it's a little different. If you can get on the right school that comes in, like the other day, they were a good three and a half, four pounders sitting in here. So we were happy with what we saw. Unfortunately, you can't see them today, so or right now anyways. So I think we're going to stick it out a little bit. We know they're going to come in here just when. So we're getting on in the afternoon here and we've caught up with a couple teams. We're kind of dubbing this area the culling area because we've watched a lot of culling go on in this area. Big smallmouth coming from a deep flat area. We've got Lenny DeVos and Jeff Delage hanging out here and Chong and Brown Ridge fishing side by side almost. Mutual respect between these two teams. They're keeping an eye on each other. They both got great weights today. We'll have to find out how they wake out at the weigh-in. We're pretty much catching a fish every drift but the quality's gone down a bit. I would say between this boat and Doug and Dave, we'd like probably 50 fish. They came in, we were, we, we were working that line that they're on too, and I, I don't want to bug them, but not exactly their line, but we're crossing the same fish. I know we were. We can have team of the year, but it's hard to catch now. Yeah. So we'd have to do 28, 29 to have a shot, maybe. I don't think we should do that. He's probably got 22, 23 already. We need over 30. If we don't get a good one in this drift, we're probably going to leave.
not a bad fish. It's time for the weigh-in in the fourth and final qualifying round of the Renegade Bass Series Tour. Teams will soon begin to place their day's catch on the scales in hopes of moving on to the 2017 Bass Classic. We were about 30 seconds away from coming in with four fish and we hooked up number five and it took us all day to get the fifth one in the boat. We got a lot of the deep water fish, but just the quality wasn't there. We lost a doozy in the shallows, a good five plus. Unfortunately, it uh, jumped and spun in circles and just broke us off at the last minute. We probably had 30 bites today. We lost seven fish. A few that were key would have helped. We got our five fish, but not no big fish to cut to uh, to work with today. Shame the weather kicked up the way it did. Got a nice bag too. Maybe 21 pounds, so uh, we're just gonna hang for for, uh, for the win. But I don't think so. There's always a 23, 24 pound that bank here, so uh, we'll try. Please. I see some fish in the tanks already, so we'll start us up here. The top 40 weights for all four qualifiers advance to the 2017 Bass Classic. While the cutoff weight wouldn't be determined until all bags were weighed, some teams assumed their 2017 season had ended here. How to work out? Uh, I think we're done for the year. No. Yeah, we have about uh, 10 pounds in there. We missed five fish today, so we should have been able to make it, but it just didn't happen. Others hope they had enough to hang on. We had a brand new baby yesterday, so it wasn't a big day, but uh, I just didn't need enough weight to make the classic. That's all we're looking for, so. I think you're safe with that one. A better idea of who would make up the 2017 Bass Classic field began to take shape as weight settled into the mid to high teens. Blake Orr and Matt Tooley's 17.7 pound bag would end their team of the year run. Didn't go well. A lot of our fish were gone. Not good at all for what the potential was to be out here. So, But it is what it is. We had a great year. Just keep on going. Coming into Q4 in third place, Team 5 Dave Western and Dwayne Clifton would also drop out of that particular race when their bag weighed in at 10.73 pounds. Chong and Brownridge would be the final threat to Lenny and Jeff taking the Team of the Year title. Teams waiting at the troughs held some very big fish. With this quality, any of the remaining teams could still win the day. The true potential of this location was revealed as teams began to hit the 20 pound mark. Brian Pollock and Troy Breesey's 20.76 pound bag was anchored by a 588 monster smallmouth, making them the top contender for both big fish and the win. With three teams remaining, how high could the weights go? So, ready to go here, my friend? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we had a great day. Uh, we really salvaged it in the last 20 minutes. We, we probably caught our two best fish in the last 20 minutes. So, it was, uh, it was a great day. 2076 to take the lead. Boom, boom, that was a dynamite. Team 32, Andy Kinsler and Scott Leckie would jump ahead by almost three pounds, pushing them into the top spot but their big fish wasn't enough to take over. As series leaders Lenny and Jeff hit the stage, were they confident enough in their day's efforts? And I don't think we have enough to, um, to take the lead for the day, but uh, 
I'm pretty, really confident we're going to maintain our team of the year status. 23-38 to take the lead. 21-65 was their official weight. Well done, boys. Team of the year. I think we did have a little added pressure coming into the day, but not not too much. More pressure on ourselves. Our big thing was we, we fished uh, the way we fished. We didn't worry about what everybody else was doing, and, and we knew what we needed to do, and we put our head down, and we did it. With Team of the Year decided, the tournament win comes down to this. Will Chong and Brownridge weigh in over 23.38 pounds? Let's see what they weigh. 23.38 to take the lead. Boom! The goal accomplished, boys. 23.99 official. These guys set a goal to get into that tournament of champions and goal accomplished. Outstanding. There you have it, folks, our 2017 Q4 winners, David Chong and Doug Brownridge. Mastering Morrisburg this week is Dave Chong and Doug Brownridge with a 23.99 pound bag of smallmouth. A very close second is locals Andy Kinsler and Scott Leckie. For Lenny DeVos and Jeff Delage, they managed to seal the deal on their Angler of the Year title. Two and a quarter pounds separated teams 11 through 20, with Jean Moran and Serge Carrier taking the 20th spot. As the 2017 season comes to a close, these 40 teams will be moving on to fish the Bass Classic in Cornwall, Ontario. One of those teams is Q4 champions Dave Chong and Doug Brownridge. Frustrating morning. We didn't get as many bites as we were hoping to on our main spot. I mean, we got good bites, but and we, then we ended up losing a couple big fish. We broke off. The zebra mussels just shredded our line. So we'll never quit. Keep fishing. We eventually landed what we need to win this thing. We knew Lenny had to stub his toe to do it. And when we showed up beside him, call it 11 o'clock, we were right, right on the same line, and we're like, no, we. We knew he had a good weight, like, turned out 21 pound bag, so we knew he had a good day. Congratulations to Lenny, he deserves it, he had a great year. We said first, second, third, and a fourth or something like that, that's ridiculous in four tournaments. I wish every year was could be that good for anybody. 